So researchers published an article in Science Magazine where they basically crunched the numbers and told us that even though lawns do have a little bit of benefit, at the end of the day, they're actually worse for the environment. Worse bad. We put so much care into them, and the type of care we have, like lawn mowers and fertilizer and pesticides, actually have a lot worse effects on the environment. So the lawnmower part, and I mean, I always told my dad this when he would wake me up on a Saturday. I would say, I, I don't want to mow this lawn, but he said, you have to, but it's gasoline powered. These are not electric lawnmowers. These are shooting out uh, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and that's got to be more than the lawn itself is taking in, right? Definitely. I was right, mm-hmm. Dad. <laughs> and also, with the fertilizers that we use, a lot of people might over-fertilize their lawn or use too many pesticides, and that gets into the groundwater and causes more pollution. With water droughts and shortage it lawns take up a lot of water you tell me how much give me a percentage right now (laughs) in drier areas they can take up almost like 75 percent what in areas that's way too much of the water lawns you greedy lawns it's the largest irrigated not for consumption crop in the states which is crazy because it just sits in your front lawn and doesn't do anything and you know I, i have an issue with lawns okay there are something like 12 or 13,000 different species of grass, and lawns are usually like a combination of four or five of the same types, okay? So it decreases biodiversity, and I don't like that. Yes, that's definitely a problem because those those species of grass can also actually be invasive to local environments. So not only have you like forced out all the other like flora and like biodiversity, but then you just actually decrease the like diversity and variety of an environment but there is a solution to lawns like we have alternatives right so like not having a lawn yes that is a choice but if you would like a lawn and not just like a slab of concrete something you could do especially in like perhaps drier climates you could use succulents or different kinds of plants that are just friendlier to local environments so you get biodiversity and you get something that just doesn't take as much water and is less maintenance and you probably don't have to mow it either Or you could even just let your grass go wild, right? Yes. That's okay, too. Parks in Germany are doing that. See, Dad? So all this is important because we're trying to get to a society that is carbon zero. And currently, even having a lawn in the current way we have lawns is not carbon zero. We are putting more uh, CO2 into the atmosphere by having these lawns. So we've got to find a way to make lawns more sustainable. Mm Mm-hmm. And there are plenty of beautiful ways to do so with different kinds of grass and different kinds of plants that can be just customized to each different environment in whatever region you live in. And so the grass might not be greener on the other side of this, but it will still be fantastic. Very nice, Tiffany. Very good ending.